Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and finish our hummingbird. Um, this is the baby's, I'm trying to think of the name of this one. Yes, baby's breath hologram. Now, I went ahead and I put the artsy foil adhesive on the hummingbird, let it sit for an hour, and now we are going to put this on top and we are going to adhere it to the hummingbird. And it's just a matter of scrubbing it with our little foil scrubbing brush. There will be a link in the comments to this foil and the adhesive. And then once you feel that it's lifted off, you just mainly peel, but I'm just making sure we got everything that we needed on there. There we go. Wow. All right. So the next step is to take final coat and put a clear coat of that on top of the foil. This only takes about five minutes to dry, but it protects it. This is gonna be pretty. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I'll try not to be so rough there. All right, now, Two things I did different from last night, and you can go back to the video and watch the first part. I took a tail, and I took some wire, and I attached it to the zip tie, and then I covered it up with this tail. I just felt that it looked too plain, and I kind of wanted to bring that color back on top. So that's what we did there. The other thing I did, well, I did spray everything with a clear coat except that, but the other thing I did was I went ahead and I put the ribbon underneath the welcome. Doesn't that look pretty? All right, so our next step is going to be to connect all this together. So. We are going to be putting glue down on this section here and then gluing that section there. Now I'm using CA Thick. And every now and then, come on, the tip gets clogged. So I have to cut it. Well then hubby stuck a nail in it. Okay, we aren't getting that one off, so we'll just use this side of it. Now, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take this one and kind of sandwich it here because I know I have too much glue there. So, come on, there we go. So we're going to glue this on top of here. And then we are going to glue this piece on top of here. And then this piece and this piece are going to connect right there. Now, what's going to... Oh, wow. Look at that hummingbird. Wow. Then the next step is to glue this on top. And then we're going to do a little bit of shading. I did it, but then I painted over it. So we're going to shade a little bit on the flower. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this on top of here. I'm trying not to bring a lot of the glue to release a lot of it out of the can here. So 
So hopefully we can spread that around some. I would highly recommend putting like a weight on top of this and putting some in those little notches. There we go. Putting that on top of there. You kind of have to feel your way around. By that, I mean your sides and so on. Now, I had some antique irons that I like to place on top of here. But I'm not sure where they are. But anyhow, our next step is going to be to staple this to the back and that's going to be your hanger you've got your little hanger here to hang on the door or the porch or whatever so you can visually see that and because i have two layers here i can staple although i would probably staple into here here and here as opposed to this because you don't want the staple coming through to the hummingbird so let's go ahead and do, let's see if we can get some shading on here. We can. And then we'll put some white in there too. And then we'll just take a diaper wipe to it. To kind of Spread it out a little. It looked better before I sprayed it, <laughs> but then when I sprayed it, it kind of went away. So maybe we'll just put a little white. spread it out. I think the white kind of looks better. You can contour this if you want. You can do whatever you want. So we'll get this stapled and hang it up and take some pictures. And look at that hummingbird. He is gorgeous. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye. So I went ahead and glued two spacers to the back and that way I can get a good hold on where these are gonna get stapled. Not to mention, we're gonna use these super slider felt pads on the bottom here. So this also keeps it away from scratching the door. And one thing I did not show, this will go here. out there. One thing I didn't show when gluing this together, I should have also done an outline of glue along here and along the flower um, right here. So when you're putting this on, when you're attaching everything, make sure you put a bead of glue on the outside. All right. Have a great day. Thank you.